Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we show you how to replace the oil pan gasket on this 2004 Chrysler Sebring with the 2.7 liter V6. The tools you're going to need for this repair is jack and jack stands, 13 millimeter and 15 millimeter sockets, and a ratchet with an extension. And you're also going to want a swivel. And you need an oil filter wrench, 10 millimeter and 18 millimeter wrenches, a pry bar, a flat blade screwdriver, a rag, oil, and an oil filter. Now, with your vehicle jacked up, you go under the front here, you can see here's your oil pan. And you're going to want to start off by removing this plug here. Make sure you have a drip pan below it before you remove it. And you just want to let your oil drain. Once it stops draining, just put the plug back in. Now you want to just use an oil filter wrench to remove your oil filter. Now on this plate there are four 15 millimeter bolts. You just want to go ahead and remove those. And we'll just fast forward as Don does this. Now, you can see lining your oil pan gasket, there are actually 10 13 millimeter bolts. There's five on this side, and then there's five more on this side. You just want to go ahead and remove those. And we'll use a little fast forward here to go through this. And as you can see, some of those bolts are a little tough to get to behind the exhaust pipe and whatever. Um, that's where you use that swivel joint or the U-joint um, to be able to get the socket in there and onto the uh, head of the bolt. Next, you want to remove this 13 millimeter bolt right here. Now remove these two 10 millimeter nuts. And remove these two 10 millimeter bolts up here. Now you want to take two of those 13 millimeter bolts, you want to put one in the center hole on this side and one on the center hole on the other side. And You don't want to really tighten them up, they're really just in there to secure the oil pan from falling. Now the next thing that you need to do is remove this one 18 millimeter bolt there and these two 10 millimeter bolts on this plate here. And you're going to have to use a pair of wrenches to do it. And you can just pull down that plate. And then behind it you can see there's two 10 millimeter nuts there. You just want to go ahead and remove those. Using a pry bar, you want to pry 
down on the oil pan and you're just trying to separate it from the engine. And then you can remove those bolts once it's separated. Now that the oil pan is down, you can just reach in there and you want to use a flat blade screwdriver to pry your oil pan gasket down from the engine or up from the oil pan depending where it's stuck. And now we're going to fast forward here as he just pulls this oil pan gasket back towards the driver's side and you'll see that on that end of the gasket it's actually connected. You just want to break that connection and then just pull each half of the oil pan gasket out. Using a rag, you just want to clean up the area where the oil pan gasket sits. And from the driver's side, you just want to feed that oil pan gasket back up into the oil pan. And you just want to maneuver it back and forth along the sides until you can line it up properly. You can see this is what it should look like. It should be on those studs right there. And then you want to just push the oil pan back up, making sure that the dipstick there pushes back into place properly. Fast forward here as we put all those bolts in. Um, you want to put them in and kind of get them hand tight first, then snug them. Uh, then you're going to torque them to 20 foot pounds and you kind of want to you start in the middle and go back and forth across the oil pan and you work your way to the ends And then you want to replace those two 10 millimeter nuts. And the other two 10 millimeter nuts on this side. As well as the two 10 millimeter bolts. Now replace the long 13 millimeter bolt over on this side. Double check and make sure that those two nuts are tight. And then put that plate back up into place and replace your 18 millimeter bolt and the two 10 millimeter bolts. You want to just put this plate back into place and replace the four 15 millimeter bolts that secure it. Be sure to clean the area where your oil filter seals and coat the gasket of the oil filter with a little bit of fresh oil and spin your oil filter into place and generally you want to make it as tight as you can by hand which is usually about three quarters of a turn after it's seated. Make sure that your drain plug is tight and refill your crankcase. Check your um, owner's manual to see how much oil your car takes and also just refill it until the dipstick says it's full, run the engine a little bit and check it again and refill it as necessary. We hope this helps you out. 
brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.